Hi guys, it's Nurse Amanda and Miss Sarah. And we're here again today to talk about health skills for COVID-19. And today we're gonna to talk about how you might feel if you were sick with COVID-19. And so we're gonna to go together and read a social story and then we'll talk about it a little bit more, talk about who we can tell and how the nurse would check you if you were at school. Are you ready, Sarah? I am. Should we start with our little jingle? Oh, you're right. Yes, yeah. you're right. Okay. Every week, thanks for reminding me, Sarah, we say, <laughs> I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. Let's, Let's do it together. Okay, we're going to say that one more time. Ready? I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. Let's do it together. Awesome. Hey, now we can start. <laughs> Let's go together. And we're going to read a social story called Feeling Sick with the Coronavirus. All right. Right now, some people around the world are sick. That is because they have a virus. I do not notice the virus because it's very small, but people with microscopes have seen the virus and they named it COVID-19. If I catch the virus, I may feel sick. If I feel sick, it's important to tell somebody I don't feel well. If I am sick, I may have symptoms. If I am sick, I may have a cough. <laughs> if I am sick, my breathing might feel tight. If I am sick, my throat might hurt. If I am sick, I may have a runny nose. If I am sick, I may feel warm. I may have a fever. If I am sick, I may not be able to smell or taste. If I feel sick, I will tell an adult. I can cover my mouth when I cough or sneeze. This will help prevent spreading germs. I can keep the virus off my body by washing my hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. I will wash my hands every time I return home and before I eat. And that's the end of our story. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it a little bit more. So Sarah, who do you think you would tell if you were feeling sick and you were at home? I was at home, I could probably tell my mom or dad and they could help me. Mm. But what if we were at school and we felt sick? Who could we talk to? Well, I think if I were at school, then I could talk to the nurse at school or I could tell um, my teacher or I could tell um, my teacher's helpers. I could tell you, Miss Sarah. Mm -hmm. I could tell anybody that I was working with. Okay. So how would we tell? Or what could we, what do you think people would ask us to figure out if we were feeling sick? So if we were at school and we said, I'm not feeling well, I think I'm feeling sick, then we would come in and talk to the nurse. And the nurse is me, Nurse Amanda. And let's pretend, Sarah, that you're at school and you're not feeling well. Uh, maybe you're having some of the symptoms of this virus. And so you can just tell me how you're feeling. I'll ask you some questions. I might ask you to point to different parts of your body. And if you use a communication device, then we would use your communication device and we would point to different things, okay? But let's try, let's try it together. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so come on in to my health office and you can sit down next to me. Hi, Nurse Amanda. Hi, Sarah. 
So are you not feeling well? No. Okay. Um, can you point to any place in your body that's hurting? Okay. Is it hurting when you swallow, when you go like this? Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. When you are breathing, does it feel like you're being pushed on your chest? Mm. Okay. Does your skin feel warm or cold? Mm. Feel cold. You feel cold. Do you feel cold in the air? Like you want to put on a jacket? Yeah. Okay. Um, how about if you feel like you need to sleep or if you have a lot of energy? Mm, I'm tired. I feel tired. Okay. So I'm going to check a few things with you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check your temperature. Okay. It's going to go like this. It's going to go beep, 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 boop. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Beep, 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 boop. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to look inside of your mouth, inside of your throat, and I'm going to look in the back. So you're going to open. Uh, beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing we're going to do is put this part. You want to feel it? There you go, you can feel it. Put this part on your back. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you to take some deep breaths, okay? Ready? Good job. Now I'm going to listen on the front in three different places. Okay. Right here. Right there. Ready? You can breathe normally. Good job, Sarah. Okay. Wow. You don't have a fever right now, but you might be getting sick. And so one of the really important things is that when we tell people that we're not feeling well, and when we get checked, we write everything down. So I'm gonna write everything down about how you were doing today. And then at the end of the day, or when your parents can come and get you, then you can go and see your doctor. And the doctors will be able to do a test to tell you if you are getting sick, or if you have any of this virus inside of you. One really important thing to know is that you're not in trouble, you're not doing anything wrong, and it doesn't have to be scary because you're gonna have a lot of people who can help you. Your parents can help you, your doctor can help you, your teachers can help you, and your nurse can help you. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions about what you're gonna do next? Nope. Okay. So you're going to sit with me for a little while while I write everything down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, that's what we talked about today. This is how we might feel if we had the virus. Sarah, do you have anything you wanted to say? No, I think we need to remember that when we feel sick, if we feel it in our throat or in our head, if we don't feel right, it's okay to tell someone. And whoever we tell, they're gonna help us. Okay. So we'll All right, you guys. You guys are awesome. We're so proud of you. We'll see you next week.